Well, here we go. Iran sends warships to monitor the Yemeni coast. Two Iranian vessels have arrived in the Gulf of Aden off the coast of Yemen, where Saudi Arabia is on a bombing campaign against anti-government Houthi rebels. The Abors destroyer and Bushire logistics vessels are on a patrol mission in the Gulf of Aden south of Yemen and the Red Sea, according to Navy Commander Rear Admiral Habola Sayeri. He says the uh, ships will provide safety for Iran's shipping lines and protect the Islamic Republic and Iran's interest in the high seas, Press TV reports. According to Tehran officials, the warships will be protecting a crucial trade route against pirates. <laughs> the Iranian Navy has been conducting such patrols since 2008. Uh, Iran has been vocal in calling for an end to the airstrikes against Houthis, which often end up hitting civilians. Saudi and Western uh, officials believe Iran is directly supporting the Houthis with money and weapons aiming to take control of Yemeni's Red Sea coast, something Tehran denies. The fierce bombing campaign has led to over 560 deaths in uh, just two weeks, according to the latest World Health Organization estimates. It describes the situation in Yemen as a rapidly unfolding humanitarian catastrophe with over 1,700 people wounded and 100,000 displaced. An international evacuation effort is underway with India alone rescuing some 4,000 of its citizens from the war zone. Russia is also taking part. So far it has sent five airplanes to Yemen rescuing its nationals as well as citizens of 11 other countries. With the chaos triggered by the Houthi uprising and the airstrikes, militant and terrorist groups are finding it increasingly easy to operate in Yemen. Last week, Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula captured the port city, port city of Al-Makala, seizing an army base and freeing 300 prisoners from a local jail. Uh, on Tuesday, Al-Qaeda militants reportedly attacked an outpost on Yemen's border with Saudi Arabia, killing several officers and taking over the checkpoint. And what this is actually is a proxy war between the Sunnis and the Shias. And, uh, you know, right here's the little port that Iran would love to be able to take control of. Because if they go up through the Red Sea, and I'll expand this picture in just a minute, you'll see they'll be able, they'll be right on the coast of Israel. Uh, and they'd like to destroy Israel. So let's make a deal with them. Oh yeah, they won't develop nuclear weapons, but they're still causing havoc all over the region. Uh, they're in Iraq, they're in Syria, they're in Yemen. Uh, and they want to destroy Israel. This, we just have to keep an eye on it and see what develops. And Saudi Arabia, they can't stand Iran. Uh, they're scared to death they're going to get nukes. I, I don't understand all that's going on. I, I don't think you should deal with terrorists, and that's exactly what the United States and the P5 Plus 1 are doing. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you updated with further updates.